Hello friends, welcome to Infinity GP channel. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel to see more cricket related contents. The start was delayed by half an hour due to the COVID scare within the England team's family group. The England team are on their way to the ground having been given the all clear, following a positive COVID test within the family group. An England spokesman had informed that the extended squad was undergoing a series of RFT COVID tests, and their departure for the ground had been delayed as a consequence. Cricket Australia have responded to this morning's COVID scare in the England camp, confirming that four people connected with the touring party have tested positive and the affected individuals are currently isolating. Ali Robinson has struck in the fourth over of the day to dismiss night watchman Nathan Lyon, finding an edge with good line and length and caught behind by Joe's Butler. Mark Wood has claimed the crucial wicket of Marnu's Labuashane for just one. Wood entered the attack in the ninth over of the day and struck with his third ball, one that kicked up from a tight line and deflected off the splice into the waiting hands of Joe Root at slip. This is the first time he has been dismissed in single figures in an Ashes test. Australia are 3 for 84. Steve Smith inside edges onto his stumps for 16, a second wicket of the innings for Jimmy Anderson. It's been a long road for Marcus Harris to get his third test match half century. It's been nearly three years and 17 test innings since his previous one against India at the SCG in 2019. Ali Robinson has broken through after a troubling period for England in which it looked like their good work of the first session might come undone. He dismisses Travers' head, fencing at one that angled across to be caught by Joe Root at slip. Australia are 5 for 171. James Anderson claims his third wicket, that of set batter Marcus Harris for 76. Harris was just three runs shy of equaling his highest test score when Anderson had him caught at first slip by Joe Root with an excellent delivery which found the outside edge. Australia 184-6, five runs shy of England's first innings total. Jack Leach has claimed his first wicket of the match, dismissing Cameron Green LBW for 17 in the second over after T. Australia are 7 for 207, a lead of 22 runs. Ben Stokes removes Alex Carey, tempting Australia's last recognized batter to drive at a fuller ball outside off stump and finding the edge, which Joe's Butler takes behind the stumps. Jimmy gets his fourth, Australia 9 down. Captain Cummins departs for 21. Boland is caught by Crowley in the slips as Wood claims his second wicket to end the Australia innings. Australia were bowled out for 267, a first innings lead of 82 runs. England's top order had no answers as Stark claimed two wickets in as many balls. Thin edge through to carry, first strike to Stark. Another low score for Zach Crowley, who departs for five. Dowie Milne is pinned LBW first ball. He reviewed, but the decision is upheld an umpire's call. England are two for seven. After a quiet few overs, Scott Boland has knocked over two and three balls, as Australia sent blood amid the evening shadows at the MCG. Haseeb Hamid fell to his third ball. Fiddling an edge through to Alex Carey as the ball kicked up around off stump. Bowling removed night watchman Jack Leach with a jam that clattered into the top of off stump two balls later as the match slipped back into a more familiar rhythm with England staring down a series defeat. At the stumps England are 4 for 31 and trail by 51 runs. Joe Root survives to stumps but England barely. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and comment on what kind of cricket related videos you are looking for.